Hi, I wanted a little banner shape, something like this, to put on the front of a card that I could stamp a greeting on. I made it in Scan and Cut Canvas and I thought I'd quickly show you how I made it. So the first thing I did, I came over to the basic shapes and I scrolled down until I found the oval here, the fat one, not the thin one, so this one here. So I selected an oval. While I had it selected on my screen, I right clicked and made a duplicate. And then I dragged the duplicate down until it overlapped. Dragged an imaginary box around both and just centered them, so edit center, just so they centered. With them both still selected, I went to edit and subtract. And that gave me this shape. The next thing I did, I went back to the basic shapes and chose a square. I dragged the square down so that it was narrower than this shape, but it has to be taller. So I just did this by eye. So I placed it over so that I had an overlap here and it was completely above the top of this arc and below here. So then I selected both by dragging an imaginary box around them and went to edit center just to align them up. Just before I do anything, I just want to select this and make a duplicate. So I've got these two selected and this centered and then I went to edit, divide. Then I clicked on the top of the box and hit delete and I click on the bottom and hit delete and then I can delete these side bits and I'm left with this shape. This is my basic banner shape. With this selected, I'm going to right click and make a duplicate. I'm just going to move that out of the way. I might not need that, but just in case none of this worked, I kept that shape up there so that I didn't have to start right from the very beginning. So now with this one of these, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to go back and grab a square again. I'm going to drag the square down again so that it is narrower than the width, but taller than the whole of this shape. So I'm just going to drag it in, drag an imaginary box around both, edit and centre so it centres it horizontally this way. And with it both select, with it now lined up and this square is above this arch and below here, I selected both and I went to edit, subtract. Now for the subtract to work, the square has to be on top of that arch shape. Now when you click on these, although it's divided them up, there's still a group. So with them selected, I'm going to right click and hit divide. And then all as I did, I came over and I positioned these two smaller narrow shapes on top of my basic banner body. And to get them lined up, again, I just selected the thin one, held the shift key down and selected the other one and went to edit and align them up on the bottom edge so we know that they sit horizontally here on the bottom edges and with them both select selected I went to right click and group so these are now a group and this is still a separate object. Dragged imaginary box around both, went to edit and centre just to make sure that this arch shape was centred to this group and with everything still, st still selected, I went to edit and weld. And that's how I made my basic banner shape. Now, obviously, you can see this is over two inches wide and over three inches high. So I dragged it down to make it a little bit more squat. And then I shrunk it down. I think this one's about just over two inches, so 2.7. So whatever size you need, really. And then it's just under an inch high. This one's 0.86, this one's 0.90. If I wanted to bring it down, I could bring it down a bit more. And that's how I made my basic banner shape. I don't need this anymore. I can delete it now. I just, as I say, made it just in case I made a mistake and I wanted to go back and it saved me started, starting all over from the beginning. And then I just give my project a name up here and save it into my projects and I can cut it and then I can use it with a rubber stamp. Obviously, because you've once you've got it in Scan and Cut Canvas, you can drag it out, you can manipulate it as much as you want. You could use this as a, 
a title on a scrapbook page. It's entirely up to you. But I just needed one for the front of a card and that was how I made it. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.